Okay, a lot of people have asked me about my truck. What's under the hood? What have I done to it? Well, let's start. I bought this nine months ago. It was built out west. It's a 1997 FZJ80 Toyota Land Cruiser. I've had it for nine months and I've pretty much worked on it every day since I've got it. I bought it under the guise that it was already built and nothing had to be done. All I'd have to do was load it up and take it overland. But unfortunately, that's not in my nature. So I have basically almost entirely rebuilt this truck from what it was to what it is now. Everything. I think the motor itself is the only thing that has been spared as of now 97 Toyota Land Cruiser uh, 4x4 four by, four by labs front and rear bumpers it has five separately switched sets of lights on it the rigid 10 inch light bar on the front the two rigid side shots the 50 inch LED, lifetime LED light bar on the top two rigids in the rear and two rigids as my ditch lights. Underneath it currently has slew 2.5 reservoir shocks that I just put on when I was in Golden, Colorado. It's matched up with a set of Dobinson heavy duty springs. Terrain tamer slotted discs all the way around, remanufactured calipers all the way around, and EBC brake pads all the way around. Now if you follow the channel or follow me on Instagram, you probably just saw that I installed the Superior Engineering Superflex arms. I managed to score these for a song, which is why they're in. I wanted to replace the control arms with sleeves, but I wasn't too stoked that you still had to grind the tops to install the... to make it get by the tie rod bar. The tie rods are three fives made in Japan. The tie rod bar is made by Slee Off-Road. It's locked front and rear. It's a triple locked vehicle, 488s and 529 final gear. Custom front and rear drive shafts. I had the front double carded made in Massachusetts. The second one was made for me in Moab by Tom Woods. The entire truck is AI liner, which is very similar to Monster Liner, and that right there is why I have this truck. I started following Mike on Overland Bound about a year ago. I saw his truck and I said, I am getting one of those, and I did. So there's that. The truck has side protection in the rear that's incorporated into the rear 4x Labs double swing out bumper. 37 inch Nitto mud grapplers all around. And I just completed installing an entire onboard air setup, which you're looking at right now. Rear camera in the front, the rear camera in the back, and also in the front with a pile driver rear view monitor. Underneath is Dobinson Springs. A white line extra heavy duty rear sway bar. It's all tied up with land tank extra heavy sway bar links. I built a shelf in the rear right here. I put a wits end air tank in the back. You can see the drop blocks by land tank right over here. Pan hide rods, everything's by Slee off road. And custom up in the frame exhaust inside the truck right now it does not have the rear drawers that i built for it in with the fridge slide and all that stuff it's going in but i wanted to finish i wanted to finish the onboard air first in the tailgate it's a wagon gear storage keep you know straps in there all my extra fan belts solar panels a little entrenching tool right here is what i'm working on i just finished it ARB twin compressor goes to the front of the truck in the rear and to the air tank, obviously. I brought heavy gauge wiring 
through the passenger side of the firewall. It feeds the inverter and the compressor, and the compressor draws a serious amount of energy. I still have to finish up all the wiring, neaten it up a little bit, but I'm still making sure I, it's, it's everything where I want it to be. I keep spare tools in the back and spare parts in the back and a bottle jack. I welded up a bracket so I could mount this front runner table, this drop down table onto my gas carrier. Um, it works out pretty well. It's held up pretty good. And on this side I have a gullwing window by Land Cruiser Phil. You can get that on the I Hate Mud forum. It's a pretty decent setup, but I am replacing it with a set of Yoda Techs, one on each side, just because it's a much better unit, in my opinion. It's already got the Molly and everything. On the top, I have a Rhino Rack made by Oz Tent Fox Wing Awning. You can see a separate video on that. On the sides right here, I have Yoda Tech brackets with the rigid lights on them. They are badass. Safari Snorkel. The previous owner put vents in the hood, and they definitely help. This is also made by Yoda Tech, and I customize it a little bit. The roof rack I built myself. It holds my roof nest, which is a 119-pound rooftop tent for two people that pops up completely. 50-inch LED light bar. 50-inch lifetime LED. And those are the Yoda Tech brackets with the rigid lights on them. Everything separately switched inside to factory Toyota switches. Rigids in the front. Custom grill that I got from Saad Kelly on the I Hate Mud Forum. He makes these for 80s and Land Cruiser 100s, I think. Back to 55 Super Hook, which got a workout this weekend. And a worn VR12 synthetic line winch, which the thing pulled this truck. 6,600 pound truck pulled it up a six foot sheer rock wall. Yep, it did. Just like this. And this is the small one. This is the small one. Those mud grapplers were soaking wet and combined with my lack of experience, I ended up having a winch. It is what it is. Don't worry me none. And a 10 inch rigid light bar, real quick. And to the left of that, you can see the uh, onboard air right there. And that's pretty much it for the front of the vehicle. Custom grills are badass. It's all metal, it's very heavy duty, and it gives you more airflow and more space in the JDM auxiliary fan on a separate switch back there as well. Underneath, I have three, five tie rod ends everywhere, hip and arm, all this stuff, and the tough dog return to center coil over steering stabilizer. Now, under the hood, here it is. We've got dual batteries, two, Opt uh, two Odyssey Extreme 1500s, the National Luna dual battery control. I had the IBS system in there and I ended up replacing it because it failed on me on my trip cross country. This is all the wiring, everything I did myself. Don't mind that, that needs to be straightened out. TRD Supercharger, FZE. National Luna, blah, blah, blah. You've seen all this. A wits end bracket to hold some of the fuses. Uh, I've got the Slee wiper relocation kit in place. I also wired up a set of KC Cyclones under there for nighttime. They work really, really well. Best lights I've seen under the hood. And I also wired up a Busman fuse block and a blue sea ground bar and two trippable breakers under the hood one goes to the inverter in the rear and the other one just takes care of the uh, fuse block itself and of course i've got diff breathers this was from a co company in australia i've got a quad but I've already extended my uh, transmission and transfer case up because I definitely do a lot of water crossings. I've had this truck up to the ditch mounts 
in water. So there's that. So that's pretty much it. All in all, things awesome. It's already been cross country. I've driven this from Alabama to Massachusetts and then Massachusetts out to Moab, down to Arizona, through Texas, all over the place. Never had a problem really. The only problem was my inexperience, but I've gained quite a bit of experience doing all this. Everything that you see I've done myself. I refuse to pay anybody to do it. That's what forums are for. At any rate, Richie from Boston, I am the jailbreak overlander, and this is my truck, and my tongue is a little tied. I'm out.